Hello and welcome to the Talent Integration Cloud Winter 17 video series. This video will focus on the SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle, walking you through as an administrator setting up environments using the newly implemented Promotion Pipeline to promote jobs to and from environments. Let's get started. For demonstration purposes, I'm logged in as the administrator. I've got a few standard environments already set up here within my Talent Integration Cloud, one for development and one for QA. Drilling into these environments reveal their workspaces used for grouping flows, actions, and resources like connections and file systems. I've called my first workspace Enterprise Analytics, which loads data from Salesforce to Redshift. A second workspace called Resources will manage my different resources, connections, file resources, and so on. I also need these workspaces replicated into a new production environment, which is yet to be created. So I'll click Create New Environment and give it a quick name, Prod for Production, and add a description. I'll then add the Enterprise Analytics workspace to this new environment. And our new environment has been created. Let's dive in to also add the resource workspace so it mimics the other environments. And that's how simple it is to create new environments and workspaces. I now need to establish levels of accessibility to those who will be using it. I need to give my developers access to my development environment and my QA analysts access to my QA environment so they can test the jobs and flows. I'll head to my workspace roles, which shows me who has access to what. I'll start by giving my production administrator access to every action available within my new workspace environments. My developer Dave should have access to the developer environment, which allows him to publish his flows into the environment. And my QA analyst Jackie needs access to the QA environment. Let's check out my existing pipelines. I'll dive into my dev to QA pipeline. This one is taking all of the workspaces from the dev environment and promoting them to the QA environment. And both Mark the admin and Jackie the QA analyst have the ability to use this pipeline. Now I need to create a promotions pipeline so my promotion admin Mark can promote from the QA environment to the production environment. With my promotion pipeline created, I must assign Mark ability to promote. Now our pipeline is created and available within the operations view. In the next video, I'll show how the different roles within your organization can utilize the promotion pipeline to execute and promote flows from one environment to the next. To learn more about Talent Winter 17 and many other new capabilities, please visit the What's New page.